full nine page uh, complaint, Shabani. I have, and let me just kind of break everything down to you. First and foremost, like the only events that we are finding out that transpired are all through this SEC complaint against Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban has yet to respond to the claims. I've also called the SEC, have not gotten a, has not yet gotten a comment as to how involved or, uh, or whether Mark Cuban has had prior knowledge of this complaint. But basically, here's what happened. In March of 2004, Mark Cuban, the uh, Dallas Mavericks owner, bought a 600,000 share stake in a publicly held company called Mama.com. It was an internet search company that was trying to compete with the Yahoo's of the world. Now, sometime a few months later, the company started engaging in secondary capital raising uh, talks with various entities there. Well, before they announced it, before they closed on the deal, they, the CEO, the Mama.com CEO, called Mark Cuban to let him know what was about to happen. Mark Cuban was not happy about the move, uh, expressed a lot of displeasure about the dilution effect, essentially reducing the worth of his investment. He uh, spoke to a number of other people to get some additional details on what this capital raising effort would, how it would impact his shares. And he turned out he ended up selling the shares. Now, he sold the shares within 24 hours or before 24 24 hours of the company publicly announcing it and as a result the SEC is claiming that he had access to insider information that he traded on it and profited from it and as a result this complaint is coming about guys. A couple of things here Shabani. First and foremost I think we should say that Fox News is reporting that uh, there is no comment at this point from the office of uh, Mark Cuban but my question for you is is Mama.com became copper Coppernick I think I'm pronouncing that correctly see and I see this thing's like 22 cents. Why is the Nasdaq still in the stock trade? Because if you look at the chart from when they went public in 96, straight shot down in particular uh, when this whole event happened in 04 with Cuban. Uh, well, you know, I, I, I couldn't necessarily, uh, you know, guess what happened, what's going on with, with the Nasdaq. They have certainly their own trading. Uh, their trading limits and a lot of listing requirements there for and so there, that's sort of a separate issue why this company stock is now trading in, in penny or dollar ranges and why it's still trading on the Nasdaq we know a lot of these companies out there are trading at very low values and continuing to trade on the big, big exchanges but Mark Cuban's involvement in this company mama.com which is now morphed into something else basically came in, in in March of 2004 and exited in June of 2004 and the big question is what sort of information he had and essentially he got out of the investment in order to save $750,000. Now, I, I called a lawyer who does this insider trading, uh, has background in this, and he told me basically the penalties and the repercussions of this is that he's going to potentially, if he's found guilty, pay back the $750,000, and then he could get fined up to three times that amount. So he may have to pay another $2 million on it, and then there could be uh, the further limitations on what sort of investments he can make. This is obviously a really big uh, penalty for a $750,000 savings for a really rich guy, keep but, in mind. But he won't go to jail. Yeah, this is a civil This civil is a civil suit. He won't, he won't be going to, he and Dennis Kozlowski won't be spending any time. Yeah, but he also, right, Shabani Joshi, thank you. He also has a long history of basically doing deals as a private entrepreneur, building his company up to broad, uh, Broadcom.com and, and so, not to, to excuse any of that, but I think he's more of an entrepreneurial guy forgetting the fact that, oh yeah, there are public shareholders out Well, but in the complaint, what I found interesting is that the CEO told him, before I, I divulge this information to you, this is a private conversation. Do you agree to that? This is private information. And, and Mark Cuban, in the complaint, the SEC says he did agree. And then he sold anyway. Well, I don't know. Well, I think he's, he's, a, he, he's a feisty of, character, and we, exactly. I, I would expect that he'll probably, we'll see, there's a lot more from right. him on that.